and welcome to Holy Trinity Church here in St Austell, Cornwall. I have done a video here before about the history of the fine pipe organ here at Holy Trinity, but now I'm going to demonstrate to you some of the many and varied sounds that it can make. Firstly, here are the pedals. There is the pedal board. And here are the pedal stops. And we'll begin at the bottom with the open diapason, which is a 16 foot deep toned pedal stop. And there is another 16 foot pedal stop called the board on. And there is yet another called the Echo Board On, a slightly less deep toned version of the Board On. And then there are two eight foot pedal stops the octave and the bass flute. And there are two four foot pedal stops, the 15th and the flute. Which give a comparatively light and bright tone compared to the 16 foot stops. And then there is a pedal mixture that's where you have more than one rank of pipes together. And finally, there is a 16 foot Ophiclide stop, which is very loud and only works as a bottom octave. And down here you see that the uh, combination pistons for the pedal, which bring out different combinations of pe the pedal stops. The first one brings out the echo board on in its own. The second one brings out two of the 16 foot stops, the board on and the echo board on together. The third one doesn't seem to do anything at the moment. The fourth one brings out three of the stops. A four foot, an eight foot and a sixteen foot. And the fifth one brings out five of them, including the Ophiclide. The Ophiclide only working to the bottom of it. And now we move on to the choir. The bottom manual is the choir, and the choir stops are here. Firstly, there is a Lieblich Gadat, eight foot. nice flute stop and then there's the uh, gamba an eight foot string stop and then there's a lieblich flute four foot And the uh, gambette, four foot string stop. A less deep version of the gamba. And next 
is an azard, which sounds the tone a fifth higher than the, what you'd normally get out of a particular note. So uh, if, for example, middle C, uh, Lieblich Flute, that's middle C, but uh, if you have an azard out on, on that particular note, it sounds what it sounds like what would be uh, that one, the G. <laughs> and normally you'd combine the Zard with other stops for a distinctive effect. And there is next a two-foot fleet stop in the choir, the Flautina. There is also a trumpet, eight foot, which, but that is not working at the moment, unfortunately. When the organ was originally built, the, the trumpet was part of the great organ, which you'll deal with next. But when this organ was rebuilt in 1973, the trumpet was uh, made, was given its own chest and it was made so that it could sound on both the great and the choir. But I say, not at the moment, unfortunately. And then there is a clarinet, eight foot. And we also have a choir super octave, which, uh, when that is pulled out, it sounds the note an octave higher. So, for example, Lieblich Gedacht and Lieblich Flute together, middle C, but with the uh, super octave, it, sound, it sounds that note to the, the C that's an octave higher. And there are five combination pistons for the choir. I believe these are adjustable in some way, but uh, this is how they're set at the moment. So, number one just brings out the Lieblich Gedacht. Number two brings out the Lieblich Gedacht and the Lieblich Flutes together. Number three brings out the uh, gamba together with the Mozart. Number four brings out the Liebig Gedacht, Liebig Flutes, Flautina. So three flute stops together and the choir super octave. And number five brings out the clarinet in its own. And next we have the uh, great stops. The middle manual is the great. And the great stops are located here. Start off with the eight foot open die pace number one. loud tone. And then there's an open die pace number two, also eight foot, but not quite so forthright. And next we have the Clyabell flute, eight foot. softer sound. Then we have a four foot principle. Ooh. 
and the fourth bit's harmonic flute. More mellow than the principal. And then we have a twelfth, which has the same sort of effect on the great as the Mozart has on the choir. Combine it to the harmonic flute and the tribal flutes. And, and the open diapase. Then we have a two foot fifteen. And we have a great mixture. And then the trumpets, which, as already mentioned, is not working at the moment. And we have six combination pistons for the greats. I mean, they've, all, they've also got uh, foot pistons as well as, as well as the front pistons. But uh, with the front pistons, number one just brings out the Kybel flute. Number two brings out the Kybel flute and the harmonic flute together. Number three just brings out the principle. Number, three, number four brings out the Clarabo flutes, principle, the twelfth and the fifteenth. Number five brings out the open die pace in number one, the principal, the twelfth and the fifteenth. And number six adds to those the mixture. And finally, that leaves the swell. That is the top manual here. And here are the swell stops. Firstly, you have an eight foot open diapason. We have an eight foot raw flute. And an eight foot viol d'amour. With a lovely mellow sound, very soft. And you have a Vox Celeste, eight foot. Which doesn't do anything in the bottom octave. We have a four foot principal. A two foot fifteenth. Mm. 
And we have a mixture as well, but that's not working at the moment, I'm afraid. We have a 16 foot contra oboe. And an eight foot corner pin. And I must add to that the fact that the uh, swell organ, of course, uh, the volume can be controlled by means of the swell pedal because the swell pipes are enclosed in the wooden box of shutters and the swell pedal opens and closes the shutters. So, for example, if I have the cornopian out with the swell box fully open and the swell box fully closed. We also have a, a tremulant, which gives us a little vibrato effect. You can hear it making a noise when it's pulled out. So let's have the, uh, say, uh, the open diapason and the uh, principal and the 15th without the tremulant. And with the tremulant, giving a sort of theatre organ sounds. You also have a, a couple of uh, in fact, in fact, there are three special couplers for the swell. You have the uh, swell sub octave, which, uh, when pulled out, sounds the note an octave below the one you play. So uh, let's have the uh, those same three stops again. This is without the sub octave, and with the sub octave, you can hear the, no the note an octave below it sounding, and the super octave sounds the note an octave higher. So there again, without the super octave, and with... and with both the sub and super octave... the octave both below and above sounds. And there is another stop called swell unison off, which uh, when, you, when you pull it out, uh, on its own, without, without any of the other couplers, uh, means that none of the notes sounds. But if you uh, use the swell unison off together with the uh, sub octave or the super octave, uh, it will make uh, only the notes an octave uh, below or the octave above, uh, whichever is applicable sounds. So uh, with the uh, swell unison off and the sub octave, only the notes below, only the notes an octave below will sound. There, without the unison off. Um, it's a bit, er a bit erratic. And likewise, if the uh, super octave. Only the notes an octave above will sound, or is, or is supposed to. We also have a few other couplers scattered about. One of these is the swell to great, which is with the great stops. And when that is pulled out, when you play on the great, any stops on the swell that are pulled out will sound too. So for example, if you have the Kybal flute, the principal and the open diapason number two out on the grate, but you not you've not got the swell to great coupler on. That's all, that's what it'll sound like. But if you have the fifteenth principal and the Vox Celesti out on the swell, and you have the swell to great coupler out. That's what it will sound like. Then you have, the, with the choir stops, you have a swell to choir that uh, performs a similar function with the choir and the, and the swell. So uh, 
If so, you have the Liedlik Gadax, the Gambet and the Liedlik Flute out in the choir together. But so you don't have this swelter choir stop out. That's what the choir will sound like. But add this swelter choir and there you've got the uh, swell stop sounding as well. And finally, with the pedal stops, we have three couplers. The swell to pedal, the great to pedal, and the choir to pedal. If, for example, you have the swell to pedal stop out, you can play the, uh, the swell stops with the pedals. For instance... <laughs> There are none of the independent pedal stops out at the moment, but the pedals are sounding the stops that are out on the swell. And the great to pedal does the same for the with the uh, for the great. And likewise the quieter pedal. But of course you can have the independent pedal stops out as well. Or more than one of the couplers out. working stops on the great all together and all the working stops on the swell together and all the working stops on the choir together. And all the working stops on the pedal together. And then add the great to the pedal. That's sounding all the working stops in the grate as well. And the swell. And the choir as well. concludes my demonstration of the fine pipe organ here at Holy Trinity Church in St Austell. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.